Jesus. Dear friends, today could be the best day of your life. Today could be the day you meet personally Jesus Christ. I met him over 10 years ago. Over 10 years ago, I was living in Australia. I finished a prestigious university there. I was working, I had a good career. I was going on holidays to Coral Reef. In many ways, my life was really good. I was a person who achieved a level of success. But in my heart, I was empty. I felt emptiness, a deep hole inside my head, emptiness. And no matter how much I tried to fill that hole, I couldn't do it. I tried shopping, I tried different relationships, I tried partying. And, you know, after going to a party, I would wake up the next day and that emptiness was still with me, that emptiness in my heart. And I went to a doctor and I said, you know, I'm feeling emptiness, I'm feeling a kind of depression. Even though my life is okay, what's wrong? What's wrong? And the doctor said to me, it's pretty common. It's quite common. A lot of people, a lot of people can't really cope. A lot of people live this life where they are feeling low level depression. They are pretending that everything is okay, but they're waking up and every day is same old, same old story. The same old looking in a mirror, not being happy, not being happy with their lives, not being happy with their marriages, not being happy with their career, not being happy. So, so I was asking God, I was asking, is there anything more? Is there anything more than just living this life? Is there a deeper meaning to my life? And I met people and they told me about Jesus Christ. And at first, I was laughing at them. I was laughing at them because Jesus to me was some Catholic deity. I remember Jesus as a little girl when I was going to Catholic Church, I remember looking at this person on a cross, a sculpture, and I remember thinking, can you do anything for me? Are you real? And when I was praying to that painting, when I was praying to that sculpture, nothing ever happened. Nothing ever happened. None of my prayers were ever heard. I felt like there was no God. I felt like I was just alone. And when they told me about Jesus, it started, it started to work inside my heart. It made me question God. It made me think about God. I said to God, God, if you exist, I want to meet you. If you are real, I want to meet you. I said that. I said it to God. I said, I, I want to know you. I said, I don't know if you are Buddha or Muhammad or Krishna or the universe or the energy. I don't know who you are, but I want to meet you. And the same people invited me to a meeting. And at that meeting, someone told me about Jesus. Someone answered 
my question. They said, listen, no one died for you. Krishna or Buddha or the universe, no one. There's no, there's no such person in the history of the universe. There's no such person who died for your sins. And I, and I thought to myself, gee, I'd be really stupid not to take it. I would be really dumb not to take the forgiveness of God. I would be really stupid not to take the offer, the offer of forgiveness of my sins, the offer of forgiveness of my every mistake, the offer to change my heart, the offer to heal me, the offer to give me a new life. I thought to myself, I would be really stupid not to take it. So I decided to take it. I decided to say yes to Jesus. I decided to say I want salvation. I want to be saved from that emptiness. I want to be saved from the meaninglessness of life. I want to be saved from feeling hopelessness, feeling like I don't know what is the purpose, what is the sense of my life. Oh, I said to God I want to be saved. I want meaning. I want a deeper sense to my life. I want more than just everyday living. I want more than just partying. I want more than taking recreational drugs to numb myself. I said to God, I want more. And if Jesus is such a person that can help me, help me to deal with the problem, of meaninglessness, the problem of lack of purpose, the problem with lack of satisfaction. And you know, the problem is that there is so much depression, so many people are suffering from meaninglessness, from depression, from emptiness. And I want to tell you that Prozac or antidepressants, or the next party, or better job, or a new wife, or a new husband, is not going to fix it. Because Jesus Christ is the solution. Jesus Christ is the medicine. Medicine for your heart. Just like he was a medicine for my heart. He fixed, he gave me a new heart. He gave a meaning to my life. He gave me a purpose and he gave me a totally new life. When I said yes to Jesus, I was born again. My life started afresh. But my life now was different. My heart was complete. Inside my heart was peace with God. Inside my heart, I knew I wasn't alone anymore. Inside my heart, I knew that God was my friend. Inside my heart, I knew that something incredible happened when I said yes to Jesus Christ. Something so amazing, so incredible that nothing, no human experience can compare no human experience, no party, no lover, no drugs can compare to meeting one living God, to meeting with the living God, with Jesus Christ. That is the most important thing. That is the most important thing in the life of every single person. And it is the most beautiful thing to meet with living God, with Jesus Christ. Listen, there is nothing better. There is nothing more beautiful 
There is nothing more significant in your life than meeting with real God, with Jesus Christ. There is nothing more cleansing. There is nothing more healing. There is nothing more transforming. Your life can be transformed tonight. You could be leaving darkness and going into the heavenly kingdom today. You could be starting. You could be starting your eternity today. Today. I want to encourage you. Seek Jesus Christ. Seek Him. Seek Him. Search. Search for Him. Call out to Him. Say, Jesus Christ, I want to meet you. If she's telling the truth, I want to meet you. I want to meet you personally. I want to encounter you. I want to experience you. If you say it, if you say it from your heart, He will come and your life will be totally changed. You will be saved. You will be saved today. Amen.